It's funny how quick your opinion on something can change in an instant. For example, something you despise and loathe with all of your being can instantly change into something you wish you could revel in for all of eternity. All it takes is one very good experience doing whatever that thing you once hated. A similar thing happened to me a while back. Something I hated with all of my being turned into something I always look forward to and do every chance I get. All it took was one good fishing trip. It's a Friday night. It's around 6 in the afternoon. It's warm, but the breeze evens out the weather. The water and the sky are both crystalline, enough to see the fish in the water and the sun setting past the horizon. My father asked me if I wanted to go fishing with him since he couldn't just stand there and waste the nice weather. I reluctantly said yes since I've been turning down his request for a good while now and felt bad doing so. After loading the rods, chairs, tackle, lights, and drinks into the van, all that was left to go do was buy some worms and pick a spot to fish. We eventually decided to go to the culvert just outside of Burnstown, since it's a good spot to go fishing at night. We arrive at the culvert, set down all of our things near the water, and we pierce our worms with sharp pointy hooks and add sinkers to both of our lines. We cast them as far as we can in the water, and now all there was to do was wait for a bite. The strength of my line was way too weak for the fish in this spot. We had no clue what was here since it was our first time. But looking back, we definitely should have put a stronger line on my rod. I still, to this day, don't know how I caught this fish. After sitting and waiting for hours, not catching anything but a few small, skinny mud pouts, we started to think of packing up soon since it was getting pitch black and we couldn't see anything without our small, flimsy lantern. My eyes felt like they were melting into my skull, and I was getting sick and tired of catching nothing but a few mud pouts. But then, right as I was getting comfy into my chair, I felt a massive tug on my rod. The monster lurking in the water nearly took the rod out of my hands. I look over to see my father, if he was messing around and tugging at my rod, but he was just putting on a new worm. My body begins to fill up with adrenaline as I realize I'm about to pull on the fish of a lifetime. I felt another monstrous tug on my line, but this time I let him take it since I knew I needed to wait for that golden opportunity to set the hook. Eventually, some time after the massive fish finally takes it, I set the hook and tried to reel it in. A few seconds in, I think to myself, this isn't no ordinary fish. This is a massive catfish. This fish is dragging me left to right across the dock, and my hands get tired and sluggish as I wait for this fish to run out of energy. But a fish of this stature had, n- had the endurance of an athlete, since it took a long time to exhaust its energy. My eyes light up as I realize he's finally given up. I reel in this fish and my dad gets ready to pick it up. When our eyes meet that aquatic, gargantuan monster's gaze, we scream with excitement as we realize what we just caught. After bringing it to shore, we weigh the massive catfish. The fish ended up being 13 pounds, which was surprising for a catfish. This beast of a fish was just the length of my leg. After some taking some pictures, we threw the fish back and called it a day. Since it was getting late, We were getting tired after a long night of fishing. Experiencing a trip like this made me fall deep in love with fishing. The thrill of reeling in this fish was crazy. I can't wait till I catch another fish like this once again.